welcome back to our channel. It's Bella here. So today I wanted to bring back another eyebrow do's and don'ts video. This is actually our most viral video on our channel and I, we filmed it about three years ago. So I just wanted to bring it back and just do like an updated version of it. So just a little disclaimer, if you do any of these things, um, don't take offense to it. This is just for educational type of video and everyone does their brows differently and everyone has a different opinion of what a good do and don't version of a brow is. So here you just see me combing my brow downward. This is something that I would never do when doing my brows. I only comb my brows up. I know some people do both directions, but me personally, I do not comb my brows down at all because then they just naturally fall down anyways, if that makes sense. And here you see me going in and immediately right off the bat going into the inner brow and making it really, really harsh and defined and the color is kind of off for my hairs. It doesn't really, it's a little too warm of an undertone. And I'm just doing unnatural brush strokes. I really struggled to do the don't just because I do my brows a certain way. Um, and then when I applied the brow gel, I just went in a straight motion versus combing them upwards. And then also when I'm carving out my brows with concealer, as you guys can see, I got the concealer in my brow. I tried to hug the brow a little too close and it looks a little too sharp in the front half of the brow. It doesn't look natural at all. And yeah, this is my don't. And it's not that bad of a brow, I get it, but I just wanted to show you guys something that I like, things that I like to avoid when doing my brows. And then this is the dew brow. So as you guys can see, it does look a lot more sharp, a lot more pushed up. It almost looks like that brow lamination type of look. And this is how I've been work, rocking my brows for a minute now. I really like them to be pushed up and almost like flat against my head if that makes sense and a really good way to do this is to add soap so I grab a spoolie and I swirl it around in the soap first and any soap works I typically like to use when it's clear and it's okay if you have a little bit of soap residue it usually doesn't show up once you apply your brow powder and I pretty much push my brows up every single hair and I just do a couple layers just so my brows stay up and the brow powder that I like to use is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks and this is what it looks like on the inside. This brow powder is a little pricey but in my opinion it just works really really well for me and I like going in with this middle shade because it's super cool tone and it's not going to have too warm of an undertone and it's going to match my brows. So I pretty much only like to underline the bottom of my brows in the front and then once I get to the outer tail I like to outline the top and the bottom of the outer tail. And then going into that darker shade, I focus that on the outer half of the brow, just doing upward strokes. And then I go in with the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. This is my absolute favorite brow gel. I highly recommend it. I've tried a bunch of brow gels and this one just really does the trick for me. Don't worry if you get a little bit of brow powder beneath your tail of your brow because that's what we use concealer to clean it up. So now I'm going in with the Too Faced multi-use sculpting concealer and I grab that little concealer brush and as you guys can see I still sculpt out my entire brow I just don't do the upper inner part of my brow if that makes sense you guys will see when I blend it out um, you can't see any harsh lines at all so I just use this um, buff concealer brush and I just do light tapping motions and then another way to blend out that concealer as well is you get a fluffier brush with some translucent powder and you just go in back and forth motions kind of how you would blend out you know regular shadow on your lid and that's how I get it to be nice and blended so that's what you guys see me doing here with some translucent powder and I do like the brow to be super defined if you like it to be a little bit more undone then definitely don't go in with as much concealer as I did but this is my perfect brow and this is how I like to do my brows especially if I'm doing a lot of eyeshadow I like the brow to be super cleaned up and super defined so yeah this is the do and tell me guys tell me what you guys think in the comments down below um, let me know which brow you liked better. I know that it was really difficult for me to do the don't. It's really hard to like purposely mess it up. But yeah, 
Thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for all of your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Bye!